Well, we begin this news hour with breaking news out of Iraq, where protests are taking place against October's parliamentary election results. Now, there are clashes, as you can see from these live pictures, between protesters and security forces. Uh, we understand that stones have been thrown and tear gas has been deployed. This, of course, follows those parliamentary elections in October. Uh, let's see if we can get more now from Mahmoud Abdul Wahid. He joins us now live from Baghdad. Uh, Mahmoud, these are dramatic pictures we're showing our viewers. Just give us a sense of the context. Why are these protests happening? And, and, and why have they seemingly spiralled out of control? Well, Hala, apparently a violence escalated uh, after uh, the protesters are starting, uh, started, they started uh, uh, throwing security forces with uh, stones and then security forces near the green zone area uh, uh, also tried to fire in the air to disperse uh, the protesters and also they fired uh, tear uh, gas. Now, these protesters are supporters of the political parties that lost in the legislative election that was conducted the, the last month. They include uh, popular mobilization forces. These are the military arm of the political parties that lost in uh, the election. Remember, uh, the escalation or the violence has escalated after the protesters uh, announced that today, Friday, is the last chance for the government, for uh, the election commission, to, uh, re to hold a recount of all the votes, otherwise to conduct a re-election. Now, these protesters have been occupying areas near the green zone for the third month uh, now. They have been setting tents, they have been uh, 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 marching in the area, they have been chanting uh, against the government, against the election commission, against international uh, commissions, including the, the, the UN mission, and the European Union mission that have uh, taken part in monitoring the election. In fact, they accuse the election commission of vote rigging, of fraud, and they also uh, they have went, they have gone far to demand uh, the removal of all the staff of the election uh, commission. Now, uh, these protesters, uh, uh, as you know, they, they include they include. Uh, popular mobilization forces. We spoke to many of them. They said that they were uh, commanded. Uh, they were commanded to leave their uh, military uh, positions in many areas across Iraq, in the south, in the north, in the west of the country, and come here near the green zone uh, to protest, to uh, uh, build, to set up their their tents, and not leave the area until their demands are met. Now the situation is getting. Uh, worse because uh, the election commission says that it's impossible to uh, re to conduct a re-election uh, given the fact that it has conducted already about 25 percent of the votes uh, have been recounted manually and eventually the results are identical with the old results so there is no change there is no hope for these protesters to leave the area because they are not happy with the at work, with the, they are not happy with the results, they are not happy with uh, the recount of the uh, disputed votes because they say that the uh, disputed votes have been recounted only with uh, supervision from the election commission. In fact, they say that they are not leaving this, this uh, area near the green, the green zone until uh, a recount is conducted to all the votes. Well, would a recount be... I mean, I mean it's, would a recount be enough to, 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 to get these protesters to stand back? Just as we were talking, Mahmoud, uh, it, it certainly looks like protesters are now charging. One uh, appears to be carrying a chair, charging at a line of riot police there. It's, this, there seems to be a lot of uh, tensions on the street where our cameras are pointed. What would it take for these protesters to, to, to back down? Has there been any evidence of, of, of wrongdoing uh, when it came to the election or the counting progress itself? Or are they just unhappy because they've lost? Well, they have been calling for uh, 
protesters to take to the streets uh, today on Friday. They call it, like I said, uh, the last a chance. The last a chance means that this is the last uh, chance for peaceful protesting, for peaceful demonstration. And then they would escalate. And that is exactly what happened. They started throwing stones at the security forces. Security forces replied with uh, uh, tear gas and firing, shooting in the air. Uh, we have been getting reports from uh, the uh, protesting area that uh, there have been injuries. There have been injuries among uh, the uh, protesters. And they say uh, that they have been also calling protesters in other governorates, in other provinces to take uh, to uh, the streets. And, but on the, on the, uh, at the same time, the election commission said that it's proceeding uh, it, it's a proceeding with its work. It will refer the results of the uh, disputed uh, votes to the federal court to pass uh, the final judgment. We have been speaking to uh, c commissioners with the election commission. They say that there is no change. There is no change. Uh, there is no uh, difference. Uh, there is no comparison. There is no difference. Uh, the, 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 the new results with the, the old results. That's why they say that they're going to uh, refer the, all the results, especially the disputed, uh, the results of the disputed uh, uh, votes to the federal court uh, to pass uh, the final uh, judgment. But one commissioner says that it, it, the federal court will most probably endorse the results be, uh, because there is no clear evidence about the vote rigging. There is no uh, legal standing for those uh, who are uh, disputing, you are uh, uh, challenging the election uh, commission. Okay, but Mahmoud. Uh... Today, uh, Friday, was the last peaceful day for demonstrations, according to the uh, protesters that have been occupying areas okay. near the green zone for the third week. Well, they, they say it's the last peaceful day of protest. Uh, certainly the pictures that we are broadcasting right now don't appear to be a very peaceful indeed. Uh, Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, you are in Baghdad for us. Uh, the, the, the people who are protesting and, and uh, again, holding chairs aloft, uh, certainly charging towards the security forces, clearly unhappy with the way the elections had run. But you're based in Baghdad, you're talking to, to other people. What's the general sense in the city? I mean, do, do other people feel that the elections have progressed OK? What, what's the mood like on the whole in Baghdad following these elections? Well, the protesters represent only a minor faction of the Iraqi society. And they have been uh, uh, encouraged, they have been supported and motivated by the political parties that lost in the election. But the general uh, uh, sense in Iraq is that this election, the October election, is uh, the, uh, the, 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 third, the, fi the fifth election that has been conducted since uh, the fall of uh, Saddam Hussein's regime in 2003. But they say that it's, uh, it has been monitored by international uh, supervisors. It has been uh, 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 monitored by the United Nations, by European, the European Union, and even by representatives of all uh, the political uh, uh, parties. Despite the fact that uh, uh, this is uh, the, uh, the best in, in, in terms of uh, organization, in terms of uh, uh, logistics, the best election to be held in Iraq in uh, 18 years. But yet the turnout was very low. It was only 41 percent uh, turnout. So many people in the street, many people say that they do not believe in this electoral process because it is only reproducing the same old uh, parties. But the same old parties are now having dispute among themselves. Uh, those political parties that lost in the election, they have sent their supporters in the streets, blocking the streets, uh, occupying areas near the green zone, uh, a very important area that has uh, headquarters of diplomatic missions, uh, including the U.S. Embassy and also government uh, offices. They're trying to put pressure on the government, uh, put pressure on the electoral, electoral commission to change something in the uh, vote results, to change well, something that... 
is, can is, guarantee well, Mahmoud, that these asking for changes. Can... Mahmoud, I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh, the, 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 the protesters are clearly angry at the results. Uh, they, they want the results to change. But in terms of the wider political system that, that, that you've just explained to our audience, it appears to be returning the, the, the same results, the same parties getting in. Is there a recognition in Iraq more generally that, that more reform needs to be had with the, with the entire system, not just the electoral system? Because if the same leaders are being returned and there is unhappiness with the system, uh, with the, the leaders that, that keep coming back through these elections, is there a recognition more broadly that, that the system is not working? Well, there is. There definitely is, because many people say that the same old system, the same old corrupt regime, it has been reproduced over the past years through uh, corrupt political parties, corrupt officials, corrupt uh, uh, politicians. But yet, they say that they hope that this election can bring about a change, especially that this is the first time opposition parties uh, gain in legislative election. Remember, this election uh, has brought uh, opportunity to the uh, a movement, an opposition movement called uh, the 2019 October Revolution uh, movement. It's called Tishreen here in Iraq. And uh, it has given a chance to representatives of the revolution, of the opposition movement, to take part in this election and win. And they have also achieved a relative victory in this, uh, uh, in this uh, election compared to other elections in the past. So the, okay. this is the, the first time opposition parties have a, a voice. They have a, a chance to take part in the uh, legislative uh, body that will hopefully, according to them, will uh, uh, make a change, will reform and eliminate the corruption that they have been suffering from uh, for almost two decades. Okay, Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, uh, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, but thank you very much indeed for talking us through those uh, developments in Iraq. Uh, for viewers just joining us, we are showing live pictures of protests uh, just outside the green zone, very near to the green zone. Uh, these protests following the, the results of the elections in October. Okay. Uh, clearly many unhappy with those results and unhappy that the, the, the hand recount, the manual recount is returning the same uh, results. We're going to keep a close eye on developments in Baghdad and bring you more on this story later in the news hour.